In this video, I'll cover framing using floor and ceiling trusses. I'll start by building trusses for a single story, then create a second story and build the trusses that would be for the ceiling. Floor framing in Chief Architect is defined on the floor above of the actual framing. For this example, the structure for floor two is using 21 inch framing. To build the floor framing, I'll move to the first floor, select the floor framing tool, and then the truss tool. I'll click and drag to create the first truss. The truss that was just created fills the cavity that you've defined for your floor structure. It will also be using the defaults for the trusses. Let's take a look at the default settings for the trusses. Underneath framing, you'll find a panel specifically for trusses. For the floor and ceiling trusses, it is using the information with the cords as well as the maximum spacing for your spans. Currently, the cord spans are limited to a maximum of 30 inches. You can also change the cord to have a vertical web depth. Once you've created your truss, you can double click to open it up. You'll find the cord information as well as the thickness and then you can also individually control the cord span and the options for vertical supports and a few other things for the truss. Before I replicate this truss, I'm going to resize it so there will be room for a rim joist on the outside. I'll click on the edge of the truss, holding the letter C down for concentric so it will resize on both sides. I'll go ahead and pull this up, press the tab key as I'm pulling it up, and I want to move this exactly an inch and an eighth, which is the thickness of the rim joist. Now that I have that positioned, you'll see a small gap right in this area. I'll go ahead and slide the truss back to the edge of the wall. Then using the multiple copy tool, I already have that defined as 24 inches on center. I'll go ahead and multiple copy this all the way to the other end. Using the camera for the 3D overview, you can see that the framing has been completed. The next step I'm going to do is build a second story, create the truss framing that will form the ceiling, and then we'll fill in with the rim joist. Let's go back into the floor plan. I'm going to move up to the second story and then underneath the build menu I'm going to come down to floor and I'm going to insert a new floor. I'll choose the option to derive the second floor from the main first floor. I'll change the ceiling to a 10 foot ceiling by adding 24 inches. Then underneath the floor structure currently the default for this plan is set up to be a 14 inch structure. I will come in, make a change to be 21 inches. Let's go ahead and zoom out in the section view. You can see the structure has now created the second story. I do need to make an adjustment up on the parapet floor or floor three. Let's just come over, go up to floor three. I'll go ahead and double click inside the room and I wanna make sure that the ceiling is set to be at 36 inches. Then in the floor structure, I'll make a slight change to adjust the framing. I want to use metal framing in here. I'm going to double click on the texture. I'm going to come over, browse down inside the plan, and I'm just going to use a stainless steel brushed and then change the framing type to an engineered lumber. Go ahead and close the dialog. Remember framing occurs on the floor below. So move down to the second floor. I'm going to grab the floor truss tool again. Same type of operation. I'll go ahead and click and drag from the end of the wall. Hold my letter C down to concentrically resize this exactly the rim joist amount, which was one and eighth. And for this truss, I want to multiple copy this at 48 inches on center. So I'll use the multiple copy tool. Set the interval of this for trusses to be at 48 inches. Then using the multiple copy, I'll come in, slide the copy of the trusses down. You can see it show up in the section view. As we toggle over into the 3D view, you can see the additional trusses. To fill in with the rest of the framing for the rim joist, let's go up to the general framing tools and build framing. I'm going to come over to the first floor select build framing. Notice that the rim joist is set at one and an eighth. For the second floor, come down underneath the subfloor area, click the build framing, 
for the spacing since I copied the floor trusses at 48 inches. I'm going to adjust that because I don't want any additional floor joist to fill in. We'll adjust the rim joist amount to the 1 and an eighth and then finish up the framing. And as we maximize the 3D view, you can see that all of the framing has been created for both of the floors. And the upper floor, we're using a metal truss at a 48 inch on center spacing, and the lower floor is using a 24 inch on center spacing. That wraps up this video on framing using floor and ceiling trusses. To learn more, please see the built in help file as well as our other videos. Thanks for watching.